So it all started in the garden, that, that perfect sinless environment. It's when Satan came to Adam and Eve. And there in the garden, the deceiver twisted the truth and convinced Adam and Eve that God was holding out on them. And they bought the lie. When God confronted Eve and asked, what is this you have done? She replied, well, the servant deceived me and I ate. It was through the, de the deceiver that sin and death entered humanity. And that's why Jesus says that Satan is a murderer and a liar from the beginning. A murderer from the beginning. He does not stand in the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he's a liar and the father of lies. That's what Jesus said. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth. John 8, 44. In Romans chapter 5, verse 12, Paul explains that sin and death came through one man, and then death spread to all men because all sinned. This death through sin is why Jesus called Satan a murderer. As one person says, he's the author of the fall of Adam by which death came on man. See, Satan is the originator of all sin and death, and he didn't stop after his deception in the garden. Today, Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, and he continues to deceive us with his lies. Now, there are many ways that he deceives us, but here are, here are a few examples. First of all, through, um, through ages in history. So throughout history, Satan has led humankind down the path that opposes God, from the, from the persecutions in the early centuries to the scientific rev, uh, revolution, to the age of enlightenment that centered on human happiness and the pursuit of knowledge by human reasoning. We, we see Satan has always dispersed his lies. The, the present set of lies is found in postmodernism, right, or humanism, that proposes there's just no absolute truth. Truth in this philosophy is determined by human wants and needs. So throughout history, Satan has been appealing to man's intellect, his thinking, and to make man think that truth is based on the moment, uh, what, what he wants at the moment. Uh, also, Satan has been an angel of light, has shown himself to angel light in heretical teaching. Now, the New Testament is filled with warnings about false teachers. Paul called out men who were false teachers and deceit, deceitful workmen, he says in 2 Corinthians 11, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. Erroneous teaching continues today in things like salvation by works, prosperity theology, acceptance of same-sex relationships, gender confusion, and a long list of many leaders who represent the truth and misrepresent the truth. This teaching is put forth in persuasive ways. And Paul says it's, it's no surprise if Satan's servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Also, there's a personal agenda. Throughout the world, the, 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 the flesh and the, and the devil, every believer is under attack. And often, the, 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 the pride that we carry in our hearts causes us to accept the lie that we deserve to be happy. We deserve to be satisfied with temporal things. This leads us to follow our heart's desires rather than submit to the love of our souls. So Satan's the angel of light. He disguises himself as that. And he's filled with lies. We have to watch out for Satan's schemes and his craftiness and his cunning as he sends lies our way. Father, help me not to buy the lies of Satan. Help me to know your word and to live it out in obedience, even if it means sacrifice and suffering. Give me your strength to stand firm in the truth. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen.